Hey, we're still hoping against hope, praying, keeping our fingers crossed that the rain is going to stay away for football Friday night tonight. Hope everybody out there is safe, but uh, no problem for our three games we had last night. No, I mean, are you upset that we had some high school oh, football on a Thursday? No, no, no. It's beginning with one of the best matchups we've seen in this young season so far. Two teams in our Super 6, we'll call it Monroe. Yeah, absolutely. Two teams that are absolutely loaded. You know the tale of the tape by now. Monroe's outscored opponents 66 to 16 through two games. They've got stars like Amari Borden, Austin Perkins, who's over 100 yards per game and three tutties. Wakulla, yeah, they're always loaded. Xavier Blake, Samron Brinson, those are guys that are playmakers. Blake's got 130 rush yards per mm. game. Mm -mm. Hayden Cleese, five tutties. He can sling it with the best of them. But there could be only one. This is a fantastic matchup. Dom, how to shake out? A heavyweight battle at J.D. Jones Stadium. The War Eagles, the home squad, they came out hot. First quarter, Wakola threatening. Cleese back to throw. Make it six TDs. Unloads into the waiting arms of Jeremiah Thomas. 29 yards to Pater. Wakola on top 7-0. Coach Cleese loves his sophomore, but he loves this guy even more. Xavier Blake, are you serious? Breaking tackles won't go down. 12 yards to the bar. He was feeling it early. 14-0 War Eagles. A safety makes it 16-0 to end the first quarter. Cleese and the boys back on the move. He hits Todd Williams, the Tulane commit. Yes, sir. Four yards for a score. 23-7 will call it, and they weren't finished. Two feet down, one. by the way. That's right. Cleese to Thomas, run it back. Second time's a charm. Another tutty. Wakulla goes into the locker room, up 37 over Monroe, and they kept the heat on at home. 43-13, the War Eagles make a statement. Really impressive performance, Ryan Kelly. Monroe punching above their weight class here. you got to give them a ton of respect for scheduling this game. Listen, the Bobcats are going to do some damage at their yes. classification, but this is what happens when you go to Crawfordville. That's a tough place to win Woo. because that team is so stinking good. Speaking of teams that are really stinking good, you don't just stroll on into Mike Hickman Stadium either. That's where the Florida High Seminoles hosted the sneakily undefeated Taylor County Bulldogs, but it was already 41-0 when we got there. Ryder Popple going to rumble for the first down. You know what he does. All right, listen, I was busy hanging out with the Renegades in the student <laughs> section, and then uh, right behind me I heard more cheering, and it's because Popple decided to break one to the house. 48 nothing Knowles. At least we got him crossing the goal line. That's right. I, I got that out of it. So That's you know. Right. But hey, got some Taylor County highlights too. Varen McCoy, nice little return here. Bulldogs inside two minutes. They're hoping for some points before we wrap this one up. Nobody wants a goose egg. Fourth down is what it would be. Ryan Hamilton, Woo! really nice throw here. He hits JJ Clayton. He can't come down with it. Turnover on down. The Seminoles cruising this one. 48 nothing, showing why they're one of the Sunshine State's best. And our Super 6, number two, that's right. Hey, let's head up to Hey Hira. The Valiants hosting Georgia Christian, courtesy of the Valiant Network. Thank you very much. First quarter here, no score, no longer. Tristan White takes it in from 15 yards out. That puts Valwood on top, 6 nothing early. A little bit later, Brooks Best under center, rolls to his left, hits his man. That's worth Kimbrough, Brooks Best. To Worth Kimbrough, an all-time names connection. Valiance. Football guys love that. Valiance on top by two scores. Fast forward second half here. It's 25 nothing. Valwood on top. Georgia Christian gets on the board. 10-yard tutty right there. But it was all the home team in this one. Take a look at your final. Valwood wins this thing 39 to 14. And how about them Valiance, Ryan Kelly? 3 and 0. We are taking notice. Robert Toombs is the next team on deck. If they okay. get past that, they're 4 and 0. They've got a great game here in Tallahassee against the North Florida Christian yes. Eagles, who are also currently undefeated, looking to go 3 and 0 tonight. Two fringers there off for our Super Six. Is that fair to yeah, say? Maybe. It could be. Maybe. NFC's been knocking on the door for a while. Let's see what Valwood can do.